So one of the things you might want to have with your game is to basically have the head sort of move around as the character moves. So we can use this with an animation player. So what we're going to do is jump back to our player object and the part that we want to actually sort of pivot is basically going to be our camera pivot. So we're just going to sort of move that around. So I'm going to add a child node onto this and I'm going to search for animation player and I'm going to add that here. So this is basically attached an animation player to this camera pivot. I'm going to create an animation, a new one called head bob. I can set how long it's going to be. So let's say it's going to be actually a 1.5 second animation. And I'm going to set the timeline right back to zero. Now I go and click on what I want to animate and we can go anywhere where there's a little key we can lock to make a keyframe. So I'm going to just lock my position and my rotation of the camera to start with. I'm also going to go to the end of my animation and lock them in at the same place just so that when it when the animation finishes, it's going to go back to that position. So I'm going to go to 0 0.5 and what I'm going to then do is just move my camera around. So I'm going to move it to the left. But what I'm also going to do is spin it to the right. I'm going to move my camera up a little bit and we, what we can do now, any of those changes, I'm going to lock in and we can see our keyframes we've got a little character position. So we can sort of see the between here, a camera sort of moving across. We'll go back, let's spin it the other way. And this time we're actually gonna bring it down. And maybe back across and then we'll click on the keyframe to lock those in place and we're going to just play that so you can see our camera sort of moving around quite a bit if I wanted to I could add animation loopings or get it to autoplay but we're going to deal with some of this in our script so what I'm going to do now is just save that and if we have a look now animations I haven't actually told it to run at any point so it's not actually playing so let's go and handle that under our script. So we're going to go into our player script. And as part of our physics process, because it's handling to do with our movement, what we're going to do is see if the direction, because that's handling our movement, if it's not equal to vector three, so if basically there is no movement, we're going to tell it to play an animation. So we're going to get that animation player. So from here, dollar camera pivot animation player. So dollar camera pivot slash animation player dot play. And I want to play head bob. So let's have a look at how we go. So got some quite violent movement here. But that's just to really emphasize the effects that we're wanting to have. And then when we stop moving, the animation finishes and it's done. So that's how we can add some animation onto our sort of player head bobbing. You could apply that same principle for basically um, animating arms or legs anytime the player is moving.